relationship between the two businesses that are really inspiring each other. Morgan, good morning to you. Good morning, Leslie and Dan. Yes, we are um, here bright and early this morning at Twine, and I'm with the owner, Rick Rose, and of course, our Great Raft Brewing founders, uh, Lindsay and Andrew. And we're now going to be talking about the food part of beer blue uh, bites and blues. So uh, tell me what you, you have uh, picked out one of the, the entrees that you uh, or appetizers you'll be serving on Tuesday. Tell me about it, and then we'll, that, we'll try it. Yeah, that's great. You know, it's all about the beer baby, and that's what I'm saying. We're, we're really honored to have Lindsay and Andrew hook up with us to do some cooking with the beer. Some of the stuff you'll try will have beer in it, and other things we've created that the flavor of the food will be complemented once you drink the beer. So in one of the courses, for instance, that we're not seeing here today, we're going to take the Great Saison, which had that flavor that you tried earlier with the herbs and everything. So we're going to complement that by using tomato and cheese. That's what we heard. So tomato and cheese topped with a little bit of the herb. It's going to be really nice. But what we have here, and answer your question, Morgan, is we have a beer-based product. This is beer-braised biscuit. A brisket. Beer braised brisket. That sounds amazing. Yes, it's very good. <laughs> so you put it in the oven. You put your brisket in the oven. People in the South love their brisket. You put it in about three hours, 350 degrees. We used Andrew's BPA, the Belgian Pale Ale. Michael put that together with it. It's going to be topped with this great daikon. There's a daikon sitting over there. You chop it up, use a little rice vinegar, some sesame seeds, sugar and salt. That yin-yang combination is always good in food to begin with. And a little bit of soy sauce. Um, you put the daikon on top of a corn dusted slider. You got the brisket, you put this, and then you top it with some great sweet onion to give a, yeah, I know you're, you're ready. ready. You're ready, ready to I, take I've a bite of the first for, bite. I've been waiting for like 30 minutes. So can <laughs> I, is this, can I just take it? Try all right. It. It's awesome. The flavors all kind of go together. You're brave to eat on television. I don't think I could ever do that. You'll get delicious. It um, Can you taste the beer a little bit? Or do you need some beer to wash it down? <laughs> Enough beer for this morning. I can't wait to eat the rest of this, but we do have to wrap this up here for now. Don't forget, Beer, Bites, and Blues here at Twine, 6 o'clock Tuesday. And come talk to these guys about their food, their beer, and be one of the first to try um, Great Wrap Brewing uh, products. And uh, we'll, we're gonna, it's going to be a great time. Back to you guys in the studio. Bring that back, I hope. We are it tremendously back. jealous. So, uh, we'll send her a text message to uh, let us try those as well. All right, of course, Beer, Bites, and Blues is a great way to start off the Mardi Gras season. It is next Tuesday. We'll have more information on arclatexhomepage.com. Mm -hmm. Well, from one restaurant,